okay friends now we are going to discuss about three position synthesis of a slider crank mechanism before learning this approach please go to the part 1 which i already explained that means the th three position synthesis for the four bar mechanism in the first lecture okay in this lecture we are going to see how to design a slider crank mechanism by the graphical approach here i am going to uh, teach the synthesis of mechanism using the inversion method approach okay here i am taking a question from a jatan that means exercise 5.4 here in this question what is the, our requirement means if the in a slider crank mechanism please listen in a slider crank mechanism that means a slider crank mechanism is there that means if the crank rotates to 360 degree or if the crank is moving the, the slider will reciprocates on a surface O2 okay this is a slider crank mechanism what is our requirement means if the input angle is displaces to 30 degree in the first to second position that means if the input angle and input link is displaces to 30 degree the slider should move 40 mm from the initial point that means the slider should move here to here that means 40 mm. this is our second position okay and similarly if the, if the input angle is moved to the one to third position that means initial to final point is 60 degree if it is displaces to 60 degree the slider should move from initial point to final point it should be in 96 degree that means initial to final point it should be 96 degree 96 mm sorry 96 mm this is 40 mm from this point to this point now we are going to see, uh, see how we are synthesis mechanism in this question also in the similar manner no length is given okay in this question an intercity factor is inter eccentricity factor is given what is meant by eccentricity in the slider crank here in this figure the eccentricity is no eccentricity, uh, eccentricity is there that means the eccentricity is zero that means the distance between this fixed point and the slider distance that means this parallel distance between the this surface and this fixed point suppose if i draw the diagonal like so that means this is a fixed point and from this fixed point link to here i am taking some displacement this is the offset distance offset or eccentricity distance eccentricity distance the link will come here Okay, the slider will come see it like so. this is the offset distance okay now we are going to see how to design a slider crank mechanism okay for that first we need to fix up the two points one is the fixed point here i am going to take the fixed point one okay this is the fixed point or O1. I'm just going to draw a line. This should be in fixed manner. From here, I'm going to take the 20 mm offset distance. 20 mm offset distance. 20 mm offset distance. Okay. Twenty mm offset distance. At first, I am going to take a, any arbitrary point in this offset distance. Okay, here through these points, the slider will displace us through this point or through this line. Okay, here I am going to take this is a set as a, this is my first position. This is first position, and this is our first position from first to second the displacement of the slider should be 40 mm so i am going to take this is a 40 mm 40 mm this is my second position okay then first to third position this is a slider should displace to 96 mm hence i am going to take 96 mm around this line 96 mm 96 mm this is my third position. This is the offset distance. 
20 ohm okay this is my fixer link position of the fixer link okay now what i'm going to do means just i am going to join this first link first position okay sorry the going to join the second position and the fixed point second po position and the fixed point here we know that if the theta that means input angle displaces to 30 degree the slider should move from here to here that means the 40 mm okay for that one just i am drawing this two second to one point this line entire line to 30 degree in anti clockwise manner as similar to the four bar mechanism that means which is in the previous lecture okay i am just taking the 30 degree in anti clockwise manner just i am going to take this is a point and this is our line and this point two comes here point two comes here Point two comes here. This is my two dash line. Similarly, I am going to join this third point and O one. Okay, third point and O one. And during the third displacement, if the theta displaces to sixty degree, that means initial one three is sixty degree, then slider should move to ninety six mm. Slider should move from first initial point to final point it is 96 mm okay hence i am joining this o1 to 3 and i am displacing this entire line o1 to 3 line to 60 degree in anti clockwise manner anti clockwise manner 60 degree in anti clockwise manner okay that means I am just taking this suppose uh, suppose if you need to take the scale that's also in a better manner okay if you take the scale it will be better in a manner that means 10 dm of up to uh, 10 m always it is okay then I am mapping this third point to this line Okay, mapping this third point to this line. This is my third point. Dash. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, do means just join these two lines. That means two dash to one, as previous case, and one to three dash as previous case. Now I'm going to draw the perpendicular bisectors for one and two dash line. And similarly, one and three dash line. Hence, I get the two perpendicular bisectors. I'm going to draw perpendicular bisector for the one and two dash line. Okay. I'm going to draw one perpendicular bisector for the three lines. This middle point and this middle point. This is a perpendicular bisector for this one and two dash line. Two dash line. That means for this line, this is a perpendicular bisector. Similarly, I need to draw one and three dash. I need to draw another perpendicular bisector. Another perpendicular bisector. Okay. Just take a more than half distance. Similarly, from the three to This will be the perpendicular bisector for this and here we just extend these two perpendicular bisectors at through which the two perpendicular bisectors should meet because this is the, uh, where the two perpendicular bisectors meet that is our industry point. Okay, that is our needy, needy point. That means from that point to our own link, this should be our input link. 
input link and from here to here this is the connecting rod and here the piston or slider will comes here the slider will comes okay suppose we need to check it just draw the figure that means as per the question if the input link that means o1 this link if the input link moves to 30 degree in clockwise manner i am taking in clockwise manner what should be the displacement of the piston it is it should be in 40 mm just we need to check if it is moving 30 degree if it is moving 30 degree the connecting rod should, should comes here okay comes here and this point and this point displaces to here and this point displaces to here and this point displaces to here okay now the connecting rod will displace us to the second point now we will see now the connecting point displaces to the second point that means now the slider comes to the second position that means the first position to second position it should be it should be 40 mm as per the question okay that means this position will move to theta is equal to 30 d okay this is a required design that means suppose input link or crank equal to is equal to 9.8 centimeter 9.8 centimeter and the connecting rod should be nearly equal to 13.8 okay. connecting Equal to nearly thirteen point eight centimeter. The length of the link is this one. We can able to satisfy these conditions. Okay, thank you.